Hello boys and girls. Today we are doing our math lesson and we are working on composite shapes. Composite shapes is when you can take a shape and make something new out of it by adding other shapes. So I just made a new shape, right? It's kind of fun. So today it says how many trapezoids makes a hexagon? So I want to make this shape but I have to figure out how many of these I need to do it. So we're going to put them in here. Let's see, that won't work. What if I turn around? Look at that. Two trapezoids makes one hexagon. So we're gonna write a two here. Okay, and then down here, we have a trapezoid. And we wanna know how many triangles I need to make a trapezoid. So I take one, Turn that two and three. If I put three triangles together, it makes one trapezoid. Isn't that fun? All right, let's look at the next page. You can put together shapes to make a new shape. This new shape is called a composite shape. So if I take a triangle and a rhombus and I squish them together, it makes a trapezoid. Do you see that? So if we take a triangle and a rhombus, they make a trapezoid. Okay, so use pattern blocks to make each shape. Draw a line to show your model. Circle the blocks you use. All right, I want to make a rectangle. Which of these shapes do you think I should use? If I try this in here, let's try a rhombus. Um, I don't really see how this is going to work. Let me try. Okay. Look at that. Two squares makes a rectangle. So what we're going to do is draw the line down the middle to show that this is one square. And this is two squares. Right next to each other touching makes a rectangle. So we used two squares to make the rectangle. Number two, we want to use these shapes to try and make a large triangle. Let's see, let's start with this. Oh, do you see this shape here? What shape is that? It can look like this. That's pretty cool, right? So let's see, we need a triangle up here. I'm going to draw the line. And then down here, we use the trapezoid. So we used one triangle, one trapezoid. So using shapes to make other shapes is called a composite shape. On my own, it says use pattern box to make each shape. I know you don't have these at home, so we're gonna do it together. And just like the other one, we're gonna circle the shapes we use. So right here, I can kind of see that hexagon shape. And then what shape do you see here? That's right, a trapezoid. Kind of looks like a fish, doesn't it? All right, so we're going to draw our line here to show that we have a trapezoid and a hexagon. And we'll circle our shapes we used. Number four. Oh, I see a shape. I see a square right here. What goes on top? That's right, a triangle. We made a little house. Looks like the Blue's Clues house, doesn't it? All right, so here's our square. We draw the line, there's our square. And on top, we use the triangle. Square, triangle. All right, let's pick two pattern blocks shown to make a composite shape. Draw the shapes, circle the blocks we used. So let's see, I kind of want to use two triangles. I want to see what that does. Ooh, if I put two triangles together, I can make a diamond shape. So I'm going to go ahead and trace that the best I can. I know you don't have shapes to trace, so you just draw. You can pick any two of these, draw them how you want them. So I use two triangles. I'm going to get to do it again. Let's see. This time maybe I'll use a square and a trapezoid. Kind of looks like a robot body, doesn't it? All right, a square, and then that was the top of the trapezoid. Let's go down, 
down, came it over. Almost looks like a dress, huh? Okay, on the back side, circle the pattern block that can be used two times to make this shape. Ooh, what shape? Yes, look at this. This can go here, and another one can go on top. Awesome, so we're gonna circle this one. How many half circles does it take to make a full circle? I don't have any half circles, but if I were to draw a line down the middle, I can see this is one half circle, and this is the other half circle. So we need two half circles. In the four, if the four shapes are combined, what shape do they make? Tell me how you know. What shape do you see here? Right. They make a circle. All right, boys and girls, you did excellent today on your homework for tonight. Go ahead and, I know you don't have these shapes at home and that's okay, just kind of visualize, imagine what shapes you would use to make these composite shapes. Just draw the lines in there. Excellent job today.